Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? Shout out to the Galactic family. I need each and every Chosen Vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into it. When, pe when people say things that bother you, it's because you value their opinion and you needed to stop yesterday. Let's talk about it. Sometimes there are people who hold weight in our mind unnecessarily. Sometimes we give people too much credit. We may think somebody knows more than they do. We may, um, we may credit people's experience. Excuse me for that. We may credit um, somebody because they're a little bit further along in life. But when people have a negative opinion and you know it's nothing other than to spread negativity, you know it's, it's, it's nothing other than to try to discourage you, then you don't need to value that opinion. When somebody is helping you and they pull you to the side, when somebody says something to you like, hey, I think you should change this or maybe you should fix that or this will help you, those are people giving you valid opinions and most of the time they want to see you succeed, not suffer. People who want to see you suffer, they'll say things like, ew, why would you do that? Or that's a dumb idea. Things along those lines, things that people should keep to themselves they'll openly and and freely say them to you all right red flag alert so when people do things like that you i'm sure you know that those are just opinions but those are the opinions that you need to stop valuing all right those are the opinions you don't need to put any value into because they're not putting any value into you if somebody has a, a, a somebody has a suggestion all right, opinions and suggestions are two different things. All right, if somebody has a suggestion, they're merely just suggesting, suggesting, hey, I, I was gonna get it. Suggesting, hey, you should merely just try, try this. Maybe you should, maybe you should try that. All right, they they don't care whether you do it or not, and they're not saying it in a way to. Uh, they're not saying it in a way to belittle you they're not saying it in a way to to make you feel negative to bring some some negativity out of you all right but either way it's just an opinion people may be further along than you somebody may be in that same line of work as you you guys may do the same thing hey i do that too if what they're saying isn't adding any value to you if it, if it feels like it's stripping you of your self-worth, if it feels like it, it's, it's trying to strip you of your self-worth and your dignity, if it, if it feels like it, it, if you think about this too long, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You may not want to be as eager as going after this particular goal or whatever it is the person had an opinion on, then you don't need to value that. You need to stop paying so much attention to what people say, number one, because that will help you a lot in life. Don't pay too much attention to what people say. And number two, the people who have negative things to say, the people who have always have an opinion to give you, don't pay to don't pay so much attention to them and just just take them for who they are. All right. As they say, take it with a grain of salt, diffuse the um diffuse the situation separate the person from the behavior that's just so and so and their negative thoughts they think real negative i'm not going to allow that to affect me that doesn't have anything to do with me that's just so and so over there who has a negative thought process they just think real negative they got a negative mind i'm not going to uh let that bother me or affect me in my day and what we have going on over here, because I, I mean, I prayed when I woke up this morning, said my affirmations, went for a little walk, um, got me a little something healthy to eat. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, I, I started my whatever I whatever you do, however you start your day off. Right. You know, how, whatever you do to start your day, 
or how, whatever you do to, to make you feel good or get yourself centered or get yourself going, put your mind back on those things. All right. Put your put your uh, your mind back on those things, because what people say it has no power over you unless you let these things affect you. What these people say, then it's not going to bother you. So that's why I said don't put too much weight into it, because the more weight you put into it, the more attention you give to it, that's the more power you're going to be giving to this person and what they say. The more power you give to people, the stronger their words have an effect on you. All right. So the, you don't want to give these people that much power. You want to give yourself the power. So that way, what they say won't really have an effect on you. They want to bother you in a negative way. Just see them as a negative person. All right. You're not going if a person if you saw someone and before they open their mouth, you automatically knew that that's a negative person what they said and and you didn't look at it in a negative way you just accept them for who they are as the negative person all right if, if you don't look at it in a negative way if you don't allow somebody else's attitude or somebody else's negativity to be something that can affect you because it can't then it won't but you have to know that so if you're not aware to that then maybe this is a confirmation for you but what people say the things that they say has no effect over you all right for for a long time people tend to let things bother them that people say because they they may value the person they may credit the person that person may do the same thing that you do you may be an artist they may be an artist you may sing they may sing you may teach they may teach you, you uh, make clothes, they make clothes. All right, maybe you're a barber, so are they. But just because they do the same thing as you, it doesn't make them any better than you. Even if they're further along than you, still doesn't make them better than you. They're just further along than you. Don't mistake somebody else's progress for them being more skilled or them being better than you. Somebody's ahead of you, good for them. But when you get there, who's to say you won't surpass them or be better than where they were at when when you're at that stage? So take things for a grain of salt. Just uh, separate the person from the behavior. Just look at them as being separate from the behavior. All right. That person has a real negative way of viewing things, but. I'm still going to look at them as separate from that, and I'm not going to allow that to bother me. All right, when people have a negative way of looking at things and a negative way of viewing things, that's just them, and and that's how you look at that. That's just that person. That person looks at everything negative. They're going to look at you negative. They're going to look at their day negative. They're going to look at the mailman or male person negative, okay? They're not, like something good could happen to them, and they'll still find something negative to get out of it oh well they could have packaged it in green wrapping paper it came in orange wrapping paper and it's a it's hundred thousand dollars and they, they're complaining about how how it was packaged they'll still find something to complain about so don't take it personal when people have things to say don't take it personal when people have a, opinions when people say things don't let it bother you and the one way you don't let it bother you is by decreasing the value all right that's why i said look at the person if the person is always negative you should be decreasing the value in the things that they say making them not important knowing that they're not important knowing that that person is not important to you and your life and what you have going on it, unless they're putting value into you unless they're saying something that you can take from it all right if they're saying something that's taking away from you instead of saying something that you could take from don't pay it no mind all right so don't let don't pay any attention to people who say things that are trying to take something from you they're saying something to you to try to take from you try to take your energy from you so don't pay that any mind know that that doesn't have any power to bother you unless you entertain it in your own mind you have to take what they said you have to take their thought put it in your mind try to figure it out entertain it only thing that makes people upset is trying to figure out why somebody said something you don't know why they said it you'll never figure out why they said it you don't need to know why they said it could be hate could be jealousy could be envy they could just not like you 
all right maybe maybe um they got maybe they got some issues all right maybe they got some some personality disorders all right but you don't let that stop you all right you don't let that opinion stop you from reaching your goal if you want to become a hairstylist if you want to open up that hair salon if you know that that that's been in the back of your mind yo i'm the, i know i could braid all right i know i could do hair i know i could open up a salon do hair do nails get other beauticians all right uh save up the money for the for the uh building all right get approved for the loan i know i can all right whatever you put your mind to you can do it so what somebody else says that's just their negative opinion probably because they didn't try a lot of people who don't try they're gonna try to they what they will they won't try to be successful but they'll try to stop you from becoming successful all right that that inner negative self-talk is a monster and they 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 want to talk to you with that inner self-talk don't let other people talk to you with their inner self-talk ask yourself is this something i'd say to myself no then i'm not gonna pay any attention to that I'm going to discredit that 100%. That's, I, would, I would never say something like that to myself. And you have to be your own friend. You got to talk to yourself. You have to talk to yourself through these things. Don't try to figure out why people say these things. Talk to yourself. Talk yourself through it. Self, it's okay. We don't have to worry about what they say. We don't have to try to figure out what they say. Let's just keep on moving. Focus on ourselves. And you put yourself back into the present moment. All right? You focus on what you hear, focus on what you see, Fo give yourself something new and positive to think about, focus on some of the good things that happened to you during your day, all right, that's why I said bring yourself back to how you started your day, well, my day started out, well, I did this, I did that, you'll, you'll start to feel accomplished, you'll, you'll start to feel uh, centered, you'll, you'll start to feel positive, you'll start to feel like you did when you were getting your before you even were around this person because you're not even thinking about them and what they said anymore it's like it, it thing things happen but they're they're meant to happen for you all right it's meant to happen for you so you can grow it's just like waves the tide comes in the tide comes back out all right you could you could picture yourself at the beach look at god you could picture yourself at the beach I want, I want you to picture yourself at the best beach that you could ever imagine, okay? I want you to picture yourself at the best beach you could ever imagine. You're comfortable. You hear the waves. You feel the water on your feet. Okay, the wind is blowing through your hair. All right, maybe your waves, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe the wind's blowing through your waves, okay? Maybe your wave cat tail is blowing in the breeze, all right, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got maybe you got fresh. I don't know. Maybe your wave cat tail is blowing in the breeze. But you're, you're by the beach. Picture yourself by the beach. All right. Picture the perfect scenery. All right. You, you see everybody. It, you know what? It's just you. It's 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 in the afternoon. You see a perfect uh, sunset. All right. It's pink and blue and all types of different colors in the sky. And you're just looking at all you see is water. All right. And whatever problem, whatever this thing, this person said. I want you to I want you to imagine it as a shell, okay? Or imagine it as you know what, not a shell. Forgive me. All right. I want you to I want you to write down whatever they said and imagine that you have a pen and paper and you put it in a bottle and you put that um cork in that bottle and you let it go out to sea and you let that thing you let whatever they said just drift out to sea. And I know I didn't do that as right and as perfect as I could. But that's a visual visualization technique for you to let go of something instead of get angry. So when you're around people who say things that really know how to get underneath your skin, that's the perfect visualization technique for you to visualize yourself feeling what they said. Imagine yourself not feeling it anymore. You, you're processing it. You're writing it down putting it in a bottle, letting it go, letting it drift out to sea, and you'll never see it again. All right, it'll let, let it, imagine it drifting out to sea into the depths of the ocean where it'll never be seen again. All right, you, you just, you just distant, distance yourself so far from that problem by doing that, okay? That, that is a, a very powerful technique all right, for you to use your mind to let go of problems and negative things that people may say, okay? 
nobody can and that's why people don't have the power to bother you because the mind is so powerful you could take you you could take your mind and visualize whatever you want and you could use that to help you get over that problem like we just did put your problem in a put your problem in a message form on a piece of paper in a bottle tell yourself it's okay you forgive yourself you forgive the person all right, you forgive yourself for feeling any type of way. You forgive the person because you don't have to feel any type of way. Because you could let the, you could let things go before it even it even bothers you. But okay, I'm not I, that day. That ain't got nothing to do with me. All right, I don't even gotta focus. I, mm -mm, not me. Not today. We just gonna let that go. All right, that that came from so and so with their negativity. We just gonna brush that away. I'm just gonna imagine that just getting washed away to see, just washed away. Let let all the problems and issues and negativity just get washed away. Just washed away. All negativity washed away. All problems washed away. And that way, you can get rid of your uh the you can get rid of the negative feelings from people's opinions. You can stop valuing people's opinions and you'll be putting more value into yourself. Focusing on things that make you feel good, putting your mind back on where you want your life to go, the direction where you want your life to go. It, it, it's just it's just negative forces trying to distract you and get your mind off of your manifestations. All right. The, these, these forces are going to try to get your mind off of what you're trying to manifest. So they'll, they're going to try, they're going to try to use other people to come in the form of a monitoring spirit to distract you. All right. These people that say these negative things, they're not just saying these negative things for no reason. They're monitoring you. They know you're, uh, of the light they're trying to stop you discourage you say negative things to you to try to put you down but you're too strong for that at this point you got all types of techniques and coping mechanisms and skills to get around these things okay that's why i created this channel because i wanted to help people be able to, to take their mind to a peaceful uh uh place when when they're dealing with the ills of the world and negative people and problems and things like that because you don't have to stay stuck in a negative mindset you don't have to stay stuck dealing with somebody's negativity people don't have to rent space in your head i used to work with people they get on my nerves and they would rent space in my head if i knew how to use these techniques a while ago then i would have had a lot better um, interactions with people at jobs and stuff like that because I wouldn't have had resentment towards these people when you hold on to the negative things they say you form resentment you can't change them you can't change what they say you just have to separate them from the behavior that's a negative person I'm not going to value what they have to say it has no power over me I'll get through this I'll get over that I'm going to imagine what they just said and the feelings that came along with it washed away out to sea so that way I don't have to feel like that anymore. And you can do that whenever you want. It's just a, it's just a negative spirit trying to break your spirit. They, they see you walking upright. They see you walking strong. It's like a video game. You're Mario. They're like a turtle trying to hit you with the spikes. So you lose some coins. They don't, you know, don't let these people make you lose your coins. All right, step on them and you step on them by dealing with yourself. All right. When you deal with you, when you um, work with yourself and you stay in your power all right, and in and, and your truth and what you know to be true, what you know about yourself, how you feel about yourself, you destroy these people's image. You destroy their, their sense of self. You destroy their false ego. They think they're this big, bad person who could say something, cast a spell, poof, and then black magic. They think you're supposed to be affected by what they said. But no. All right. No matter how, no matter, even if they did just come out of nowhere, try to ruin your day, even if they did just try to catch you off guard, even if they did say something that it makes you feel some type of way, you have to be mature about it enough to not deal with it like a child. When something said to a child, a child gets upset because it doesn't know how to use its mind and it, it deals with the anger and thinks that that this this is something that it has to deal with or focus on until it goes away. Like, no, you're you're an adult, you're grown, you're mature now, you got you know how to use your mind, you got techniques. Even if you're not an adult, you you're, you're I'm pretty sure if you're watching this and know how to if, if you watch this video this far, you might be 12, 15 years old, you could do this. All right. So you could use these techniques 
to change your your attitude so that way these people won't be able to get in your head because that's what they want to do they want to rent space in your head they want you thinking about them while they're off enjoying themselves running through the flowers holding hands skipping singing la 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 i'm having the best day of my life while you're upset mad at them because they said something that affected you they get a kick out of the negative reactions that they get from you that's why they're saying these things to you and unfortunately when you don't work on yourself and don't have these tips and techniques you're an easy target because they could just say whatever they want and then you sweat they say whatever they want you give them a reaction they say whatever they want they get you get angry at them it's like they got you wrapped around their finger and they're pulling your strings all right les brown said he was never going to let people pull his strings again and i suggest you do the same thing don't let these people ever pull your strings again by knowing that they can't bother you unless you entertain the things they say with your own mind all right it may cut a nerve it may make you feel some type of way but you have to stop and ask yourself why do I feel this type of way about what they said? Separate yourself from them. Separate them from the negative behavior. Diffusion. Okay, you have to diffuse it. So diffuse it. Don't get don't get mad at them. Get get um, inquisitive. All right, you 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 want to get inquisitive. You want to be able to you you want to um, get curious. You want to ask yourself questions when people say something that could bother you. Don't get angry. Get curious. Why does this have the power to bother me? What what type of wound did this person just reopen? That all right when 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 people do things and they say things that have an effect on you and you're giving it more value, it, it's because and you, you're you don't know why it's because they said something that affected you. It maybe they opened. Uh, maybe you, you have some trauma in this area of your life. You have to work on people who focus on other people and who can say things that can cut deep. They have um, cognitive, emotional uh, uh, intelligence where they could um, they could look at you and see your weaknesses and they, they know what to say to you and how to get underneath your skin because they study people and they, they can easily see the chinks in somebody's armor. So that's why you have to, um, that's why you have to arm yourself with, uh, these tips and these tricks to be not tricks, but you know, these tips to deal because we ain't tricking nobody over here. These tips to deal with these types of individuals. All right. There's rough people. We, we wish there, there wasn't, but there's people, I mean, isn't, they're not even that rough. Once you learn how to deal with them, the only rough part is dealing with your own mind and you not working on yourself in the areas that you know, you need to work on when somebody can say something that bothers you. It's all, it's all about you. It's all about you. It all comes back to you. These people are attention thirsty. They're attention hungry. And they're trying to get your focus put on them with the negative things they say. Even when they say something negative and it affects you, it still ain't got nothing to do with them. That that really make them upset. Even when they say something negative, it, just, it takes a lot of maturity but what we're going to have to do is just take our focus and put it back on ourselves because that's that's how we win. That's how we win. You, we know they're trying to get our attention. We know they're trying to get underneath our skin. We just have to be mature enough to be like, yo, you know what? It stops here. I'm not fighting back no more. I'm not going to resist anymore. If somebody says something that makes you feel some type of way, don't try to fight it. Feel it and let it fade. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Get curious. Don't get angry. When you get angry, it's because you're trying to, to, to stop something that already happened. You can't stop them from saying something negative that affected you in a negative way. And you can't stop from how you felt about it. That just means you have to work on yourself. Don't be ashamed. All right. You have your anger is misguided and it's misdirected. You're at you. You have what you instead of being you're not angry. What you really want to do is figure out why do you feel like this and why are people able to say things that cut deep and that affect you the way they do. All right. And that's why we get upset when these types of things happen. All right. We're not really angry. We're upset because we don't know. We don't understand. All right. When, when there's when there's no understanding, when there's a lack of knowledge, you'll perish. So when you don't have any knowledge in certain areas where people are affecting you in a negative way 
you're going to suffer and perish until you become educated enough to ward off these types of individuals. That's why I make videos like these. So if you watch this video to the very end, I appreciate it. All right. Thank you for subscribing, all the new subscribers. Shout out to the uh, Galactic family. Every chosen vessel on your way out, hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see everybody in the next video. Uh, y'all, I'm trying to say it, y'all. Peace. Drew Tube out.